this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks for You and welcome back. I have a super simple recipe for you to make for your family and friends that's going to impress you, it's going to impress them all and it is so easy. So let's get started making this amazing chicken curry. I know it sounds like something that you should be going to a restaurant to eat, right? But it's not. You can do this. And you know what? I know most people don't even have curry in your house. Go out and buy that little cheap thing of curry and you're going to laugh at how simple this is. All right, we are going to start. I have, oh, let's get that up. I have here chicken that I already seasoned. I seasoned this with salt, pepper, and my famous preserved minced garlic that I make. You know why I make that? Because it tastes so much better than the minced garlic you buy at the grocery store. And I'm kind of lazy when it comes to when it's time to cook. I hate peeling that darn garlic. That just ticks me off. So we're going to put this chicken in the pan, in a nice hot pan, hear that sizzle, and we are going to brown it. Now I had six huge chicken thighs, so I cut them into halves. And we are just going to brown both sides and cook all the way through or almost all the way through. We're going to put them back in once we have the sauce going so they'll be able to finish up. But we are going to get both sides nice and brown and beautiful. Our chicken is done and so we're going to put it in this bowl. Are you ready to see how easy this dish is? Oh, this chicken looks great. Nice and brown and I've got tons of good crispy bits in the bottom of this pan that's going to help flavor the rest of the dish, so we want that too. So we're just going to set this off to the side, and it's okay if some pieces aren't 100% cooked. You at least want like 80% cooked. Now for the next step. Alright, so we are going to now add our onion and our carrots. And we're going to let those cook a bit since carrots take so long to cook. So let's get some more um, salt in that. I'm out of salt. So uh, let's get a little more salt in here. Salt up that and let the carrots and the onions sweat a bit. Oh, you guys are going to love this. And there's so many variations to this. I can't wait to share at the end some variations to help you really jazz it up. I'm going to add a little olive oil to our pan just to get those going. And a little more garlic. You just can't have too much garlic, can you? And this has olive oil and salt in it too. So we're going to put about a teaspoon. I already put a tablespoon on the chicken. So I'm going to put another teaspoon in and we'll see how that goes. Alright, these have cooked for about five minutes, not too much. Now it's time to put our peppers in. I have one red pepper and one yellow pepper. Um, I don't think you could use green in this case. I would use it stick to a colored pepper. Now we're going to get this together here. Just cook for another five minutes. Then we're going to put our sauce together, nestle our chicken back in, and you are going to be the hero of the night when you give your friends and family this delicious dish, and we're going to serve it over rice. I have a brown rice that I'm serving mine with. You can serve it with white, but this is a meal for rice. All right, our veggies have been cooking. They're looking super good, so I'm going to add my can of coconut milk. Do not put the coconut milk in here that you buy that goes in your refrigerator. This is for canned coconut. You want to put a can of coconut. See how it's got this thick top layer? Do you see that? Oh, that's where all the good healthy fat is at. Coconut milk is high in magnesium and iron and what else? There was a couple others. Oh, I can't remember. But oh, this is so tasty. So we're going to put that in here. We're going to put a tablespoon or so of our curry. Put that in there. Oh, that smells so good already, that curry. 
And then we're going to put a half a can of water in here also. Now, why am I using water? What in the world? Because I have my um, trusty soup base that I love so much. And I'll be putting that in here too. All right, now it's time to nestle our chicken back in and let this cook. Let the flavors all blend together. Oh, I forgot. I wanted to put um, about a teaspoon of my soup base in. I um, That's one of my secret weapons, my soup base. Um, you know, stock is expensive. And I find that this soup base is amazing and organic. You can buy the non-organic versions, which are good too, but I prefer the organic version. Um, and, um, you know, really add that flavor to your meal that, um, you know, has salt in it. So it gives it, you know, it's salt. You would adjust your salt content because that is salty. But it's amazing. It can be purchased in my description box down below. So just click that and you can purchase some and have it as your secret weapon too. Put those juices in there. And then let's get our lid on. Oh, I gotta go grab my lid. Let me see. Way over here. Get my lid. Put that on. And let's let that, let that cook. Now I also have my pineapple to put in. And that I'm going to put in at the end. You don't have to put pineapple in this. You can if you want to. Uh, last time I made it, I didn't put pineapple in it, but I thought this time I'm going to. I had it at a restaurant once. I had a curry dish at a restaurant that used pineapple. And it was delicious, so I thought I'd try it. So we're going to let this simmer now. Let's really get these nestled in here and get flavors on them all. Flip them. We need to get all that amazing curry over all of it. All right, this has been going for about 20 minutes now. So I'm going to take the lid off. Oh, it smells so good. Now, try it at this point. See if you want to add the pineapple. You may not want to add the pineapple to it. Um, that's completely up to you. So let's see if we want to add the pineapple. So I'm just going to try a little broth. Oh, it's so good. And now I'm going to just see if this pineapple will complement it. It definitely can add pizzazz. Maybe the first time you make it, just make it like this. Then the second time you make it, then you add your pineapple. So I'm going to add some pineapple in, because this is the second time I made it. And seriously, I, I didn't even look at a recipe. So we're going to Nestle that pineapple in there now. Let that cook. All right. So let's nestle this in. And then let it cook just a little while longer and you're ready to eat. Make sure you start making your rice right, right when you start putting your veggies in there to cook. I'm not even going to try this right now. I'm taking this over to a friend's house for a big game of thrones tonight. So let me tell you what you can do to make this even over the top. Now, it tastes good just like this, guys, but if you have these ingredients or if you'd like to go out and buy them or try them, go ahead, like some cilantro. Cilantro on this would be excellent. What else could you put? Cashews. Cashews would be so tasty on top. They put raisins in curry. You can put some golden raisins on top. You can chop up peanuts. You can have a few little things for people to put on top on their own if you would like. And let me tell you, I had it my first time with cilantro. Oh, it was absolutely amazing. Now, my husband, he didn't know to put cilantro on it because he ate it like three hours after me. He loved it with nothing on it. So, don't think you have to have those extra things. You don't. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks. I'd love to hear from you with a comment or maybe a thumbs up. And I would love it also if you subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a wonderful day.